Welcome back to Alexi Oranda. Today I am going to be going through the basics of piano, such as keys, scales, and chord structure. So it might sound really weird. What's a scale? What's a key? What's whatever I'm saying? But trust me, it's pretty simple and I'll get through it all. So first we're going to look at the notes. And so the notes are what you have in front of you. So if you're not a keyboard, um, then you can pause the video, move over to your keyboard, bring your laptop, computer, whatever you're using, and just go over to the computer uh, to the keyboard, or you can do it later. Um, but once you're at your keyboard, you're, you'll have your notes in front of you, and I want you to look at the black keys first. So you have t them in pairs of two and in pairs of three. And so I want you to go to the pair of two and go down one. So take the left one, go down to the left. You have something that sounds like this. And so from there, this is chord C. So if you go up to that black key going um, right, you'll have C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and you might think this is E sharp, but it's F, because it's not a black note. So every black note is either a sharp or a flat. So how we determine flat is by going down to the left. So if we keep on going, E, F, skipping a black note, because there's no black note there, F sharp, and we're starting our three black notes now. G, G sharp in the middle. A, A sharp. And B, back to C with no black note in the middle. Pretty simple. But where we're going to get difficult. If I play these notes, it won't sound very good. fix that try and make a song out of notes that makes sense well that's where scales come in and scales are pretty important in composing music so every song basically has a scale you can if you think of any song you can look it up on the internet and it'll find its scale and a scale is this key so you take a note I'll take C because it's probably the easiest and there's either the major or the minor and that's what we're going to focus on. So C major goes C, then skip the black note to D, skip another black note to E, go to F, the white note next to E, skip the black note to G, give another black note to A, skip one final black note to B, and you're back to C. So this is a C major scale. So if I play these notes now, sound a bit better, except that B seems out of place. And so that's just out of the C major. But now the C minor adds a bit of a darker tone. So C minor is in a different sort of format. We'll go C, skip the black note, B, D, sorry. Now we're going to go to that black note, D sharp. Now we're going to skip that E and go to F. Skip the black note to G. Go to G sharp, the black note above. Go to A sharp and skip A, the next black note. Go down and then go down to B. No. Go to C, sorry. So C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, C. And so if I play that fast, it'll sound a lot spookier and kind of scary. And 
so you can make a lot more sadder songs like So that sounds a lot scarier and using two notes that aren't really in it I can make that sound I can make it sound like that sorry um, finally we're gonna do chords and so in normal it's triad so we have chords like this which is C major so to make C major, we have C, E, G. Actually, I'm going to make a second video. Um, I'm a bit busy now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for this rushed ending. But, um, quickly, I'm going to say bye. And I'll see you in the next one where I'm going to go into major, minor chords. Bye.